Uh, good afternoon, all. Welcome again to the lecture of uh, microprocessor programming. We were doing some programs in microprocessor, and we are trying to uh, write some programs on microprocessor. Uh, in the last class, we have done uh, probably the multiplication of two 8-bit numbers, the result of which was supposed to be again 8-bit. And for that, we have written a program for that. And in that, I have told you how multiplication can be performed just by using the consecutive addition method. Since uh, there is no uh, instruction like mul uh, multiplication in the, uh, in the instruction set of microprocessors. Right. For that, we have uh, used the concept of that was actually the logic of performing a, a multiplication uh, by consecutive addition method. And that was the logic of uh, doing a multiplication program. And today, what we are going to continue there is we are going to again uh, do the same process of uh, performing of, or writing a program of uh, uh, multiplication. But now, we are again going to add 8 bit number but in this now we are uh, we are expecting the output to uh, be a 16 bit so if this is a case then we have what uh, <clears throat> sort of uh, the other requirement is uh, being implemented that is what we have to see today right so uh, let me share my screen okay i have not started yet uh, just hold it for a second i will just Okay, so uh, by that, what I mean is, I just uh, we just need to uh, tell you that here we are going to perform the program of uh, multiplication, and uh, then the output is supposed to be uh, 16 bit, right? Uh, initially, what we have done in the earlier program that the multiplication was carried, uh, performed on two 8 bit numbers. The, uh, two 8 bit numbers and the result was expected to be 8 bit only, right? So, by that, today we are going to do the same program, but except the uh, another one that today we are going to perform uh, the program of uh, 8 bit multiplication, I guess, and the output or the result is supposed to be 16 bit. I hope my screen is visible to you all. Uh, my screen is visible. If anybody can uh, reply on that, even if you can. Yes, sir, on. it is visible. Thank you. Thank you. So we are going to do the same sort of program of again multiplication, but the result now is supposed to be uh, 16 bit, right? So what uh, the arrangement uh, have to had to be done for this program. Now. Let us start with this. So yeah, so we have studied this arithmetic operations like we just brush it up like addition of two 8-bit numbers, subtraction of two 8-bit numbers, increment and decrement of 8-bit register or a 16-bit number. So that is done. These are some of the instructions and operations that we have already studied, how to add uh, direct immediate add and uh, what are the opposites of uh, say respective instructions. That is what we have seen earlier, just to brush it up and we are not going to use these instructions right now. Some of them are being used, but what is, what is the concept? And we will again try to uh, see what we have done in the last practical. So this was the last practical of multiplication. And this was uh, done by using the logic of multiplication by consecutive addition method. And here we have taken two numbers, 0, 3 and 0, 4. And uh, we have added 0, 3, 4, 4 times. So we have got this result as 12. And the for hexadecimal, it is supposed to be 0, C, H. And that is to be stored in uh, the memory location, right? So we have done that and for that we have analyzed this program. I just need to brush it up because we have to again go through the same procedure. So multiplication of two bit, two eight bit numbers is to be done. Uh, multiply two eight bit numbers by consecutive addition, store the result in memory location. And this was the example that we have used and we have to store that the result in memory location 6050. Yeah, so this is how we analyze this. And this was the actual program that we have done. We have moved the first data in register B. We have taken the second data in register C. We have uh, vacated or emptied the accumulator for addition. And then uh, we have started adding the register B. We have used C as a counter to add that. And then we have to check whether the uh, 
addition is complete or not. So DCRC, if it is not complete, then again jump to the addition instruction, and this process goes on repeating. And by that, uh, we have given this reverse uh, memory location over there, and then we have to store the data or store the result in 6050 and the last one was the whole. So this was the concept that we have uh, used uh, for multiplication of uh, two 8-bit numbers. The result was supposed to be the 8-bit only. Now in the next program, what we have uh, trying to do is we are trying to have uh, two 8-bit numbers and uh, we need to multiply them, but the result is supposed to be 16-bit. So what, what else we can do? As I told you earlier, that even if you add uh, two maximum uh, two bit maximum numbers, the carry is supposed to be one, right? So again, the same uh, multiplication by consecutive addition method is to be uh, done. But here we are going to check the carry each and every time we are going to add the number, right? So this is the program that is supposed to be B10. The numbers XXH and YYH are stored in memory location 6500 and 6501 respectively. Multiply them and store results in memory location 6502 and 6503. Which implies that we are now having two 8 bit numbers. One is supposed to be the carry portion, and the other one is supposed to be the result portion, right? So we are going to save a carry and we are going to store, store the result. And uh, by that, we are having a 16 bit result, right? So, how we are going to do that? So, let us start. Let us take this example. So, I have taken simple number. Uh, one is supposed to be 50 uh, H and uh, second number is supposed to be 04 H, right? So I have taken two simple numbers. So one is 50 H and 04 H. Uh, they are stored in 6500 and 6501. And the multiplication is supposed to be again a consecutive addition method. So what we will do, we can add this 50 for four times, right? So th that is what I have tried to show here. So if you add 50 one time, the result will be 50, the carry will be zero. Second time when you add this 50 again, so the carry portion is zero and the output is supposed to be, the result should uh, supposed to be A0, right? In the third time when we add it, then the carry is again a zero, but uh, the output is, uh, the result is supposed to be now overflown. So it is at zero, right? So as soon as you add the fifth, fifth uh, last number, the output will have a carry as well as the result. So now this is supposed to be a 16 bit number, right? So eight bit in the carry portion and eight bit in the uh, result portion. So we are, we are supposed to uh, store this result in uh, 6502 and 6503, right? Respectively, as we are able to see. So the carry portion is supposed to be saved in uh, 03 or say some like this. So I hope you have got this, uh, concept of this and uh, what we are trying to do. So again, we are we will try to analyze this program. Multiplication of 8-bit numbers is to be done. The program uh, logic is the same that we have to um, say uh, multiply 8-bit numbers by consecutive addition method and the carry is to be checked. That is not written. Carry is to be checked and the result has to be stored in memory location. Now this is what uh, the program looks like if you add, uh, multiply this two numbers. So this is 50 H and this is 004 H. So 04 H, they are stored in 6500 and 6501. If you multiply them, this is supposed to be the answer, I guess. Uh, it is not written properly. It is 01 and 4 H. So let me change this. This must be like 0 and this must be like, yeah. So 4H, 40H. So I guess this is now okay. So uh, yeah, so this is what we are we were expecting to do. So it is 0, 0, 0, 1, and this is 4, 0, right? So this is the expected answer, I guess, if it is uh, right. If you can check it on your app also. So the um, carry is to be stored in 6502, yeah, and 40H, that is the result is to be stored in 6503. In the initial slide, uh, we have just interchanged. So I was doubting that. So we are going to uh, store the carry in six five memory location 6502, and we are going to store the result in 6503. Right? This is the program, right? This is the logic behind that program. So let us start. 
now again what what is the program the, the numbers xxh and yys are stored in memory location 6500 and 6501 respectively multiply them and store result in memory location 6502 and 6502 right the program starts in the same fashion as we have started earlier we have five columns one is for memory location the second is for second one is for label mnemonics opcode and remarks now i hope the label portion you have got because we are uh, we are consecutively using this um, uh, label for jump instructions and all so the importance of labels is going now i hope you have uh, understood that so we'll start with this now since the the uh, data is in memory location 6500 and 6501 so we have to load uh, hl pair for that so in the first instruction what we'll do we'll load this hl pair with this The address of this memory location that is 6500, right? So 21 6500. This is the load the address of the memory location where the first data is. There. And uh, in the second instruction, what we will do, we will try to um, move that uh, data. So now it will require three memory locations. So we have started with 600. So it will have 600102. and the next memory location will be 6003 right so in that instruction what we will do we will move the first data in register c so we are moving that this data in register c we will keep this as a counter right so this is the opcode kindly check the opcodes also for that so we are loading the first number in register c and we are using this as a counter right so the second instruction is uh, mvi b00 so now this a uh, register is specifically used for to store the carry if there is a carry in this addition we are going to store that carry in this register so that's why i have uh, used this uh, mvib 00h right so 06 and 00 00 is the data and 06 is the opcode so we have used emptied the register b for carry right in uh, the next so it will require two memory location 6004 and 6005 so in 6006 we are going to write xra a now what this instruction is going to do is it is going to empty the uh, register contents of register a or it will make a content of register a as zero right so af is the instruction so again we have emptied accumulator for the addition right now we require the second number so we will increment h i mean now uh, hl is loaded with 6501 the next memory location where where we are expecting the data is being stored right so increment h so load the second address or the data of the second address the address of the second data right so that is being loaded now the next instruction we are going to start with so addition so add m now why we have added m because we if you are going to uh, add some register so we have to move that in some of the registers right so by, why to do that so what we are trying to do is we are moving the uh, data where we are adding the data itself in the uh, accumulator right so we have used this instruction add m right so the opcode is 86 and we have started adding the number right now what we will do as soon as we use this instruction add m we are going to check the carry if else there is a carry so that for that we are using this instruction jump if not carry if there is no carry then jump if it is carry then increment register b right so we will leave this for uh, where we are going to jump so for that we will require this uh, say Uh, the memory location at this where we need to jump so that's why i have kept it blank right now but after that as soon as we will find this forward where it is going to land then only we'll uh, write the memory location address right so jump if not carry to the forward so it is going to come in the next memory location but it is going to require three uh, memory locations so 6007 it has started 6008 for the 8 and 9 for the uh memory location address so we have left this now it will come to 600a right so 600a now what we have to do if it is carry it is going to jump but if it is not carry it is supposed to increment register b so we have incremented register b what it implies is we are going to store the carry in register b 
right? So we have incremented the if else there is a carry. If else there is no carry, then uh, it is going to uh, say uh, avoid this or uh, say uh, just uh, separate or uh, will not execute this instruction and uh, overcome this instruction and land in the another uh, another uh, instruction, right? So increment the and then uh, we, 600 fee, we are, what we have to check is, we have to check uh, the counter, that is we will decrement the counter. So here we are expecting to jump. So the forward is at 600B, then we are able to write D20B60, right? The D2 is the opcode for jump if not carry and the address that is 600B. So it is going to jump at this portion, right? So 600B, it is going to jump. Then DCRC, we have to decrement the count. One time the addition is supposed to be completed. So decrement count. And uh, we have to check whether count is zero or not. So DCRC, jump if not zero. Kaha jump karega ye? Vapas yaha par reverse. So we need this address of this memory location. So we'll write this address that is C20660. We are writing the lower order address first and then the higher order address, right? So 600, zero, C20660. So again, C, D, E. The next is instruction is supposed to come at 600F. Now, since the multiplication is being completed, we are uh, having the carry at register B and the result in register A. So this process is the process will go on continue, uh, continuing uh, unless, until this C becomes zero, right? So this is there and then we have to store the uh, result and carry in the next memory location. So we are right now in this memory location that is 6501, right? So we are here in 6051. So we have to increment the HL pair. So it will go to 6502 and there we have to store the carry. So first we will store the carry. That is we have to store the contents which are there in register B. Uh, to this memory location. So move B to M. So we are moving the carry in the memory location 6502, right? So this is done. Then we have to store the results. So we will again increment HL pair. So again increment H and uh, uh, we will store the data of the accumulator in memory. So now 65003, 6503, it will, the result is going to be stored, right? So this is 77 and uh, we have to uh, save the result, right? And the process, all process is complete. So we'll lastly halt by using 76, so stop process. So this was the uh, program. Now this, a simple arrangement of just, uh, just storing the carry was this. So these two instructions were different and were not used in the, their uh, program of multiplication where the result was expected to be uh, 8 bit, right? But now uh, here uh, we are expecting the result to be 16 bit. So uh, the data, uh, uh, we have to store the carry somewhere. So we are storing the carry in register B, right? So this is the program. Uh, for multiplication of two 8-bit numbers, the result is supposed to be 16-bit, right? I hope you have understood this program. Uh, if not, uh, kindly let me know. We'll again repeat this program. So thank you. Thank you very much for uh, listening to this. And uh, I expect from your side that you will uh, give me a feedback whether you have un understood or not. Let us again brush it up what we have done in this. So we will again just uh, try to analyze this. So this is uh, what we are expecting to study today. Uh, we are expecting to study multiplication of two 8-bit numbers, the result of which is supposed to be 16-bit. For that, we have studied these arithmetic operations, instructions, and we have earlier done this uh, multiplication of two 8-bit numbers. The result was 8-bit itself. And uh, this was the program description and the logic that we have used and this was the program that we have done earlier. So in this, the directly A, B and C registers were used. And uh, we have multiplied this as uh, we have told it, told you earlier. And we have done this. The result is 
age bet only right today what we have done we have uh, studied is we have to add two um, sorry multiply two eight bit numbers the result of which is supposed to be stored in two memory location the data is also stored in memory location so like this this is again is to be done by using consecutive addition method and the data is stored like this 6500 and 6501 050 and 4 then this is what is expected result over there and 04 and 01 and uh, then uh, yeah we have started to analyze the program like this so we have to store some carry over there and this is how the output is supposed to come uh, 01 and 40 right and which is which we are expecting to store in 6502 and 6503 the next memory location so this was the program that uh, uh, this is what we have tried to write so initially we have to load the address of the memory location Uh, so for that, uh, we have taken this LXI S as an instruction. We have loaded with the address of that memory location where the first data is supposed to be stored. So we have moved that data in the next instruction to register C, and then uh, we have uh, emptied the register B to store the carry like this. And then uh, what we have done, we have taken to the Uh, accumulator as zero, and then we have moved, incremented HL pair so that the second data is being loaded. Right, this was the initial uh, say def defining part of the program. So this was how the data was being recovered, and then we have started from here the main program, the execution portion that is add M. So we have added directly the contents of memory location whose address is specified. in hl pair and uh, we have added that content to the accumulator itself right so add m then this is add the number which is first number and that uh, number is supposed to be in the memory location 6501 right so we are adding that content to the accumulator then we have checked for the carry if else there is no carry the jump if else there is a carry then increment b So register B is kept to store the carry. So every time there is a carry, it is going to be incremented, right? And if there is no carry, then it has to jump over here, and where we have to load decrement the register C. We have loaded here the address because it was coming next to there, so we were not having that address. So at this point, we need to jump from J and C. So we have written that zero B six zero. So this. Uh, Uh, in instruction will be isolated or say high uh, hidden so this will directly jump to this portion if there is a carry then this, this will come from this portion so it will just increment it and then it will come so dcrc then uh, decrement account that check whether the carry uh, the register c is zero or not then it is again to jump at reverse so 06 is the portion where we need to jump so we have returned that memory location c20660 And then repeat the procedure like this. Then for to store the result, increment H, store the carry in that uh, memory location, and then again increment H, and then store the result in the memory location six five zero zero three hopefully. And lastly, we have to stop the process. So this was the program for. Um, Eight, uh, two eight uh, multiplication of two eight bit numbers. The result of which is supposed to be sixteen bit. I hope it is clear for you now. And if else you are having some problems, you can drop it in my comment box, or you can also chat uh, in the say uh, in at my in my uh, YouTube channel. Right. So this is for today. I hope you have got. If you have any queries, kindly uh, let me know so that we can resolve those issues. I hope I'm uh, audible and I'm clear. So yeah, thank you, thank you very much for joining this class, and I hope you'll uh, be um, say uh, viewing my other class also. I will be uploading this on my YouTube, and uh, thank you very much. Lastly, stay safe, stay home, stay safe, take care, and see you soon. Bye. Good day.